this is auricular it is a type of heat exchanger as you can see this is auricular in this video i'm going to talk about how to install this auricular you can't just pick an auricular and just go and install it no 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 you can't do it like that so for you to install this auricular just watch the video to the end we are going to understand how to understand how to fix oil cooler this oil cooler is oil to air oil cooler now we have oil to water oil cooler this one is oil to air oil cooler now let's go let's go straight down to the job done remember to subscribe to this channel if you have not because i keep producing on some videos like this now this is oil cooler how are you going to fix it how are you going to install it if you watch it has before you install the oil cooler what you need to do first is you need to pressure test the oil cooler to see if there is no leakage there these are the veins you can see my hand these are the fins and the veins of the cooler make sure you pressure test it there's no leakage and there's no blockage if you Put pressure here the breast supposed to be able to come out from the other end there you know it has two in it has in and out this is one this is the in why this is the out so if you put pressure the pressure is supposed to come out if you put the pressure here the press supposed to run out and come from this other end that will tell you that the oil cooler is true but if the oil cooler block that might cause the engine seizure it's serious the engine can knock so for you to mount it now it has this is where to fix the boat you can see there is a boat here there is a boat here and there is there's only two boats they're going to fix in this type of oil cooler but this principle i'm going to discuss here is applicable to any oil cooler at all you are going to fix your boat you fix you tight your boat yeah then you tight this mouth if I were you, if I were you, for me to make sure, you tight the inlet, the intake first, sorry, the intake. When you tight the intake, just revolve the engine or you turn your engine a little bit. I try to revolve for you to show that your air cooler is true. The outlet, the oil must surely come out from your outlet. That will tell you that oil cooler is true. But if you revolve the engine too much, you you have a oil spill which is not too good just try you can put a bucket here or a, a, a hose in order to savage the oil not to waste and by the time you crank your engine you will see a kind of oil coming out from the outlet that should tell you that the oil cooler is good then you fix your oil cooler that is how to fix your oil cooler then you check at the top of your ro rocker arm see make sure that your oil is cooling very well then you come to the pump to the fan make sure that your pump your fan is cooling the oil since it is air oil to air cool you can see how i'm fixing it i'll tie this side you can see you can see my hand you tie this side then you tie the boat here you tie the boat here you tie the boat then you tie this boat here then you lock this side too you can see the oil filter this is our oil filter definitely it take in from here and it supply to this side this is in where this is out that is how the cooler that is how we are going to mount the cooler now so the four pieces we are going to tie tight here you tight here you tight here you tight here that is how to install oil cooler see you in my next video